What up, B Squad? It's me, JB, and we are here today, you guys, with another brand new review for Rated of Love, you guys. Season 9, right? Episode 5, Pajama Jam is the title of this episode. This is Season 9, right, you guys? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's Season 9. I, I don't know. Now, before we go ahead and get into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and you guys aren't subscribed yet, then I need you guys to do me a solid favor and stop taking me out on this date. And having me pay for it at the end of it. You guys know the routine. You can do me that favor by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, turning on your post notifications, and sharing the video. And with that out of the way, without further ado, let's discuss Fred of the Love. My bad, you guys. So, I don't know if my neighbors upstairs are rumbling and moving stuff around. I don't know if my neighbors upstairs are rumbling and moving stuff around or if I heard thunder. I don't know which one it was, but it was a loud ass noise, but that's neither here nor there. This episode, we see as the men are meeting Tommy in the gentleman's lounge, right? And, you know, Justin is the, you know, he's, he's entered the lounge for the first time. And some of the men were given that they was a little bit threatened by Mr. Justin. That was the, what, the vibe that I got. They, I want you guys to tell me. They were like, oh, he ain't gonna come in and, you know, that's my, they kept talking about my girl and all that stuff. I'm like, how long have y'all been in this process? But okay, giving a little bit of threatened to me. So Tommy told them about Leyland. Lay Lay Is that her name, guys? I think her name is Leyland. I believe her name was Leyland. Lay Lay Leyland. Lay Lay Leyland. 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 Right? Leyland. I think it's Leyland. I could be, if I'm wrong, I am so sorry, but I think it's Leyland. I believe that was how you pronounce her name is Leyland. But he told them that Leyland went home. And again, if I said her name wrong, I think I said it right. I believe I said her name right. I hope I said her name right. I pray I said it right. But he told them that Leyland went home and Tommy's letting the guys know that they're going to be having a pajama. I want you guys to come, you know, get the ladies and we're going to have a pajama jam. Now, don't show up in your draws. I was like, okay, Tommy. Cool. I would hope none of them are going to show up in their draws for this. I mean, I know some people, I know how, you know, some people sleep how they want to sleep, right? But it's a pajama jam. Now, did, somebody did miss the memo with pajama jam. But hey, if that's his version of pajamas, that's his version of pajamas. And I ain't got nothing to say about that. Now, we got two dates in this episode. And the first one was with Alexis and Dominique. And I promise you guys, I always forget about Dominique. And we are five episodes in and I already forget about this man. But they went to the stretch lab and none. What I will say is I don't see a connection with those two. I, I, I really don't. Again, like I said, I forget about him all the time. Now, they, they, they may have a connection, right? Because you guys know he wants the two to ten kids. So I, I feel like anybody who's willing to have at least two kids for him, it was a match for him, but I got nothing from that date. Nothing. Zilp. Zip. Zilch. Nada. I want you guys to tell me what you got from it, because, like I said, I got not a damn thing from it. The next day we got was Laron. So, him and Vanessa went doing yoga, right? And it's paddleboard yoga. This ain't no shade, but I was looking at Laron and I was like, now I know damn well you're going to come up with this day for paddleboard yoga. Cause just no, I, I, I knew he didn't. Cause especially when he got on that paddleboard and he couldn't even stand up on it, he was shaking like a leaf. I was like, no, y'all dead ass wrong for putting this man in this position. Cause he, when hell, he couldn't even when they first went into the water, he flipped off the paddleboard. I was like, damn, how do you flip off the paddleboard and you're laying down? I can understand it if you were trying to stand up and you fell, but. You toppled over as soon as you got in the water. When you get on a, which I've never been on a paddleboard and I don't intend to get on a paddleboard, right? But I know that when you get on the paddleboard, you just lay, you lay face down and you push yourself in the water. You push yourself. But okay, it, 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 wasn't, a good, it wasn't good for him, right? Like I said, bro man was shaking like a leaf. Now, Laron, here's something else that I want to speak on real quick, right? Because when you and Vanessa sat down after this paddle boarding, she brought up the, your party boy lifestyle and he has an issue with that because he says that 
he really does it. That's not something, I mean, he's trying to clean it up now, right? He's saying that he works, you know, from home. So when he gets off of work, he goes to, you know, lounges or he goes and hangs out with friends. That's what you should have said instead of you go out Sunday, Wednesday, Wednesday through Sunday, right? Was that what it was? Because, yeah, he takes two days off. So you should have just said, hey, you know, I work full time and when I'm not working, you know, I, but still Sunday through Monday, not Monday through Sunday, Wednesday through Sunday. It's just, it, it does sound a bit excessive, right? Because even when you think about it, you're going out to lounges and bars or whatever. So that means you're spending money. So are you saving anything? Just, just, just a question that people would probably have, but yeah, that's, I, I think he's now trying to clean it up because remember in the first episode, you yourself came out of your mouth. So no, it's not like the women are flipping it or turning it to make it something that it's not. You're the one that said that. So it is what it is. Hey, let's pause here and move forward. So you guys, we get to the pajama jam party, right? The only person who is not dressed in pajamas is Chaz. Chaz got on a t-shirt and some gym shorts. Probably would have been what I would have done too, or I would have at least went and bought some pajamas. Even if I returned them the next day, I would have at least bought some, but hey, it is what it is. So we see Alexis and Jonathan, they're talking. And what I will say about Jonathan, I've said it pr previously, I don't get good vibes from Jonathan, right? I think Jonathan is literally here to make it to the end, I would say because I just, I just don't get, I don't get, I don't know what I get from him, but I don't get anything positive. I don't even know if I would say positive. I just don't get shit from him. That's all I got to say. I get not, I get nothing from Jonathan. I don't get nothing from him. Right. But he's saying that he's, con he has a connection to Alexis. I was like, okay, cool. Not that we really, I, well, I don't care. Maybe y'all care. Maybe y'all care. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, what else? So then we see Dom and he's talking, Dominique, and he's talking to Mika. And I didn't understand why they were having this conversation because y'all are on different pages and different wavelengths. She wants no kids. He wants two to 10 kids. And I was just kind of confused as to why they were having, even, even having a conversation with one another. It didn't, it, it, it truly didn't make any sense to me. It made absolutely no sense, but I was like, I, I mean, I guess I, okay. So he also was talking about his last relationship, right? Well, his last relationships, how I guess he said he wasn't ready for them, but he's ready now. And I would have asked the question of, well, when was your last relationship for you to not have been ready then, but you're ready for a relationship currently? I would have asked that question, but nope, she didn't. Maybe she did. Maybe she didn't. Right. Maybe she did. Maybe she didn't. Next up, you guys, we see Koshia. So Koshia is, you know, mixing, mingling, having fun with the guys, doing what they're supposed to do on this show. And I didn't see nothing wrong with what Koshia was doing. Right. But Laron, however, felt the way about it. And I was like, why do you feel the way about it? If she's your connection, then you should feel secure in her being your connection and let her talk to the other guys. Let her have fun. As long as, but we'll get into it a little bit later, right? The next person in this episode that got on my nerves was Will. So you guys remember in last week's episode at the Eliminate, it was Alexis, not Alexis, it is Alexis. Alexis who told him what the women said and she specifically told him the things about him sleeping on the floor. So he, remember last week he said it was war from this point and I'm still puzzled by why it had to go to war, but okay, I'll play along for five minutes maybe. Not really, but okay. But he wants to go around and find out who all said that he slept on the floor. So he went to every lady and I was like, so you gonna badger all these ladies? If it was, a, I mean, my God, if you don't, all you got to say is I don't sleep on the goddamn floor. 
Then he found, he was talking to, who was he talking to? Patrice, right? He was talking to Patrice, and Patrice was like, well, that's the conversation that we had. He was like, that ain't the conversation that we had. He was like, I'm a multimillionaire with fake-ass jewelry on. Look like he got it from one of them mall kiosks. I want him to go home. Like, can we just clip, 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 clip him? Like, I just want that. Like, insert Dorinda me. You fool. Clip, clip, clip. I, I want to do that. Because <laughs> I don't like him. I do not like him. Let's pause here and move forward. All right, you guys. So next, let's talk about Justin real quick. Because I have a little bit of a question mark on Justin. I think he's giving like pageant answers. If you guys catch my drift. So he was talking to Mika. And once again, you guys know Mika doesn't want any more children. So when he's talking to Mika, she's asking him about that. And he's saying the same thing that he said last week to uh, Rashina, right? Remember, well, Rashina, he was like, you know, I've, I've come to, you know, I've come to with that. Maybe, you know, if, if I don't have something to the extent of he's come to, you know, you know how like some, you know how like when it comes to women, right? When women get to a certain point in their lives where they know that their biological clock is ticking and they'll say, well, you know, maybe it's not. He, he's saying it in the sense of maybe it's not in the cards for him. Maybe I've gotten to the point in my life where I can't either, you know, bear children or things of that nature. Right? That's the kind of answer he's giving. And I'm like, it doesn't it just doesn't sound. Real, you know, it feels like he's saying to the ladies what they want to hear. And let me go back to what I just said about women. I'm not saying it in a negative way. I don't want anybody to take it the negative way. Because I know that there are some women who do want kids, right? But most times it happens where career gets in the way. And by the time, most, sometimes, not all the time, sometimes, it, you know, it happens where career, they take care of career first and then they find love later. And then they, when they're ready to have kids, it's not, it might not be an option. That's all I'm saying. I'm not attacking. I'm not, so I don't want anybody to get offended by what I just said. I'm saying that's how the way he's talking is as if he can never have kids, right? Like a man can have kids all the way. Ugh. I mean, I think it's a little weird when men have kids in their, in their 70s, 80s and 90s, right? Because I would never. But that's that's the, that's how he was answering it. It's almost as if, oh, you know, my biological clock is ticking. So, you know, if I don't have kids within the next Kind of how, like, what's her name was saying last season? Um, Janelle, right? Remember how Janelle was? Janelle was okay with having, not having biological kids. She, she would adopt. That's how he sounded. He sounded like Janelle. So, there, we cleared it up. Because I didn't want it to come off any kind of way. I really didn't. Now, Laron and Koshia had a conversation with each other, right? And I will say I was confused, right? I, I'll tell you guys why I was confused. I was confused by Koshia because Koshia started crying and I just didn't understand what she was crying about. And if you guys understood why she was crying, then you guys can definitely tell me. But I didn't understand why she was crying. I also didn't understand Leron either because Leron is talking about the... So he's saying that she hasn't texted him, right? But then he's talking, he's talking about... She's there laughing and kicking with the other guys, but I'm like, but that's part of the process. She's not, she's not encroaching, encroaching on your process, and she feels like you shouldn't do the same with her. So I don't understand what he was upset about, right? I did not feel, I didn't understand, I, I didn't grasp what he was at all upset about. So she started crying, and that's why I was kind of confused because she said he was talking at her. Now I didn't, I didn't think that he was. I, now, if she would have started crying about, you know, the fact that, like, you're coming at me. Oh, maybe that's why she started crying, right? I, started, I, I think I figured it out, right? Because he was telling her how he felt about her laughing with other men. But then Maya comes over. Maya is talking about the fact that he's a party boy. He goes up to cover Maya's mouth to tell Maya to stop saying that. And she was like, oh, that could be it. Maybe that's it. So he he walked away and Justin and Chaz went to go have a conversation with him. And I appreciate the fact that they were like, yo, man, she in there crying. Now, I don't know if I agree with the part 
that Chaz was like, you know, that mean, well, it kind of, it could mean something, right? It could mean something. It could mean her feelings were hurt or it could mean she does have, you know, a little bit of a, you know, some feelings. I don't understand how, but hey, it, stranger things happen, right? But he was like, because Chaz was telling him he need to listen to her, what she's saying. He said he was. He said it was a bunch of bullshit. I was like, um, that means you weren't listening. If you had already made it up in your mind that it was bullshit, you weren't listening, buddy. Just saying. We'll pause here, you guys. Nope, nope, we'll keep going. So, after this, you guys, the group decide they want to play a game. Instead of playing Truth or, Dare, Truth or Dare, they want to play a game called Truth or Sexy. This is something that um, Dominique came up with. When I tell you guys, I cringed the entire time watching this. I even tweeted last night, can we wrap this shit up? Because it's cringeworthy. Then, on top of that, Jonathan made it even worse when he... So, I think it was LaRon told him, you know, he picked sexy. They were supposed to do something sexy. And that's why I was like, oh, this is so cringeworthy. I would have put, I would have picked truth the entire time. And even if I was one of the women and one of the men picked sexy and they were asked to do something sexy to me, I'd be like, you're good. No, no, no. We're, we're good. Because, I mean, Alexis even did it when um, she was, somebody told Will to kiss his strongest, con lick, kiss, do something to his strongest connections feet. She's like, you do not have to do that. Then we get Jonathan. He was supposed to whisper some sweet nothings in his strongest connections ear. This fool sat down and picked her up and put her in his lap. I was like, oh my God, can we wrap this shit up? Where'd y'all find these men? Where the hell did they find these niggas? Is all I gotta ask. Let's pause here and wrap up the episode, you guys. So Tommy came in eventually and broke that shit up and he pulled the men to the side so that they could deliberate. So they went around and they talked about who their connections were. So I'll go in order of who their connections are. So Jonathan says that his connection is Alexis. Will says Alexis. And Dominique said Alexis. Chad said Vanessa. Alonzo said Patrice. William said Maya. Justin said Mika. And Laurent said Koshia. So Tommy asked them, who are you least connected to, right? Chad says Mika. William says Mika. Jonathan says Mika. Justin says Vanessa. Laurent says Alexis. And Will says, I know you fucking lying. No, sir, I know you're fucking lying. Get your corny, raggedy bum ass off this damn... Oh, God, I just don't like... Th that is one... I don't like him. I'm sorry. There is nothing redeeming about Will. Then Dominique said Koshia. Will said Koshia. And Alonzo. Alonzo, you and this fucking lisp are full of shit. Because you talking about there was a, communi there was a miscommunication with Koshia. There was no miscommunication. You and your lisp and this big ass bonnet go the fuck home. There was no miscommunication. You asked that woman choked or spanked. What other context could that be meant to in? Besides, you know, it's, there are two contexts that you can use choked and spanked in. One is very physical, meaning physical abuse. The second one is sexual. Which one did you mean, asshole? Because there are only two ways you can, there are only two ways that choked and spanked could go. Only two ways, no other way. So go to hell. So then I don't know who in their right mind decided to let Will and his his whack ass, lame ass, and these fake ass chains decide who you know to tell the ladies who is not ready to love. So he calls up Koshia, and he calls up. Mika, right? And I was with Koshia. I, I don't say that I don't know how many times about his fake ass chains, right? But I also will say, um, what kind of threw me was when he was talking about what the men said, because he said with Mika, the men said the homie vibe. I didn't hear nobody in, in that deliberation saying homie. Then he's talking about Koshia. I was like, this is some shit that Will done came up with. Will has it out for certain people. And that's what it is. Will has it out for these women, so he's gonna take his. He gonna take, he gonna, he gonna come at them however the hell he wants to. Alexis, you are lame ass. That's all I gotta say about you, Alexis. You are lame as fuck too. Like, cause I feel like Alexis has gone back and told him everything that all the women have said about him negatively. 
that's why he's saying what he's saying to um what's her name again mika and koshia i i really truly honestly feel that in my in, in my gut that he's doing this because there's another he, there wow here's another thing why are we coming up with an alliance on a, a dating show it's a dating show like it is giving yeah we want to make it to the end so we can get more money please get these lame ass niggas off my television screen like please get these old lame ass oh god they are so fucking lame god they're lame that's all i got you guys um if i left anything out which i know for a fact i didn't and if i did i don't care but if you feel like you want to discuss it <laughs> We'll talk about it in the comment section, you guys. That is all I got. Can't give you anything more on this because yuck. The only two guys that I think are redeemable for me are Chaz and Justin. But like I said, I think Justin's giving pageant answers. I think Laron is a good guy, but it was just weird that he's upset with Koshia because she's actually going along with the process of the show. Other than that, Jonathan can go. Will can go. William is okay. I don't. I don't see. I don't see nothing wrong with William, right? Dominique, I forget about him. Alonzo, take your ass on home too. All of these men can go expeditiously. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Turn your post notifications on. Share the video, you guys. And until the next time, stay safe. Take care of yourselves, you guys. Wash your hands. Be blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.